Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Lone Deba of Astro Colony with Lone Debater 7. And today, we will be talking about astronauts. That's right guys, we're at the point in the game where we need to add astronauts to our space station in order to progress in the technology tree because we need to get some astronaut-based science. We have all the materials automated to do it. Now let's just get some astronauts on board to actually get to science in. Those are our carbon fibers, the little uh hexagon looking things pretty cool pretty cool this uh takes aluminum and motherboards we don't have aluminum set actually let's take a look at that real quick can these do aluminum no we do need an advanced smelter or the upgraded smelter in order to do that uh it is this advanced smelting right here which is why we need astronauts so let's go do it um i kind of have this preset up already uh, we do, we've discussed it a little bit in the last episode. If you want to watch the rest of the episodes in this series because you're interested in Astro Colony and kind of want to see the progression of starting out with basically nothing to getting all of this monstrosity, uh, be sure to check up in the upper right-hand corner. There will be a little pop-out thing that links to the playlist. You can watch all the episodes if you desire. Uh, anyways, um, let's go ahead and get Astronaut set up. We've got our hibernation chambers We've got seven of them, so we could, in theory, have seven astronauts. We've got two dining stands, which means two of them can eat at a time. As long as we don't bring all seven on at once, that'll be fine. One canteen should be sufficient to hold all the food. Eventually, we'll have robots to kind of bring the food from the canteen to the dining stand, but the astronauts will do that automatically, um, you know, as long as they can walk to all the blocks. I think this is going to be wide enough. It is uh, two panels wide. And like if I turn off my jetpack, I can walk through here. So I would think a, a regular astronaut would be able to walk through. Same with like this dock and like this dock. Since I can walk through, I think a robot or another astronaut would be able to walk through. We'll find out though. Uh, anyways, we've got our staircase going down a level. There is going to be an upper level. I think I'm going to do it at this height. I might go up a little bit more and go, but that's fine. And we'll probably put some sort of thruster bridge type thing for travel. I've got our barrier down here, but here's our dock. This is where we're going to call our astronauts. So the way this works, first things first, in order to do this, you at least need to have docking unlocked for the docking station. Place one of those down. And you need human migration to call astronauts. Uh, and for the hibernation chambers to call the astronauts to your station. Cost gold to do it. This, for this part specifically, that's what you need. So you go into the docking station, and you hit this plus sign. It'll cost two gold bars for your first astronaut. When this timer reach in 30 seconds, we'll get one guy. We can get two of them at a time, and I'm actually going to do three of them. <laughs> Costs us 10 gold, so not a big deal. We've got the resources, might as well. So when the next spaceship arrives, we should get three astronauts. <laughs> All right. Got hibernation set up. We've got our canteen. Make sure you have hydrotonic, which requires quartz. You can get quartz by mining planetoids. You take your quartz, put it in a hydro generator with 10 water, and it'll make a hydrotonic. Um, if you continuously produce this and have it in a base warehouse and have transport robots, they will come to the base warehouse or even the hydro generator, assuming they can path to it, and they will bring it to the canteen for you automatically. Uh, same with the canteen to the dining stand. They will do that pathing for you automatically. The next technology you need is colonist training, so you get the school and the study point. Um, and what you're going to do with that, I'm going to actually place this down here because might as well. we got plenty of space for it down here, so sure <laughs> let's go ahead and hop into our devices and we need the school and we brought down three dudes so we actually need three of these we'll put them kind of close-ish together uh, I gotta pick what I want scientist at each of them our first four should actually be scientists so I'm going to call one more and get another scientist set up here uh, because we're going to want that. Let's just go ahead and extend that for 
a little bit. That's fine. Because we're going to put the study points down here too. Uh, basically, whenever you bring on astronauts, there's two things that need to happen for them in order for them to become useful. They need to go to school and specialize in something. Then they need to go to the study point after they go to school in order to actually use what they learned at the school. Hopefully that made sense because that is how the game works. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to just build out a little study point area here. Give our astronauts some, some breathing room. I, I mean, they're kind of underneath the station. Uh, I think it's kind of appropriate almost. Like, oh, you, you want to come join our station? Well, you got to start down low uh, in the, you know, low portion of the station initially. That's where you board. You learn your skill. Then, after you learn your skill, you can go up the staircase. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make this symmetrical in the sense of you can go down both sides like that. We'll add one more row right there. Boom. Okay, cool. I kind of like how that shaped out. I think I will move these guys back down or like back one so they're against this like that I also want to move those so they're in a little bit better spot now that we've got this kind of laid out a little bit bigger I wasn't exactly sure I w how I wanted to do this so forgive me <laughs> I also kind of wanted to show you how how to lay this out or how to plan it a little bit because I know that it may not be obvious. Um, the way I can, t the, the side that's a little bit wider here is the side the astronaut accesses. The side with the cutout is the side the astronaut accesses. They come up top. They can path the stairs, it appears. Uh, did they go to the labs? Yes, they did. And they filled those two labs, but not that lab. Of course, of course, of course. Go to the other lab, please. Did he go to the other one? <clears throat> it's down there. Okay. Give me a scientist. We are going to get farming done pretty soon. So that's four guys, as or four astronauts thus far. Uh, really, I should add the space for a fifth. What I'm going to do is undock this real quick and just extend this out because we need the space a little bit. It's not a big deal because when you redock it like that, it pushes this back out and then connects. So there we go. We'll just do something like that because I want to stick in one more of those we'll stick in one more of those. Do something like that. Uh, because I also want to bring in at least one or two cooks. We'll maybe do two cooks. We'll do that next time, though. I'm not going to actually pay the gold to, to bring them to the station yet. Um, so as long as you don't spend the gold, they won't come to the station. Uh, but now we should have a scientist for all of them. Uh, we'll go to the point, fool. Maybe we'll put the dining stands over here. Then they can, like, eat lunch where they work. Also bring the canteen. There you go, fellas. Did you figure it out? Interesting. Apparently this dock 
is like confusing for them if they have to go to eat and that's okay i mean i guess what that means is is i can maybe move four of these over onto the other thing and just have the four scientists sleep out here and the four cooks sleep by where we're going to do the crops which is likely going to be on this platform is kind of what i'm thinking because we've got all the water here already and you need water for farming um but you actually use robots for that, so I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. But anyway, guys, we should be making science now. Um, oh, this should be space. I also need to turn on biology science for these. And I should just... Well, those are the three that that's making. This is not going to be making chemistry science. It is going to be making space science. I think I can make motherboards as well. Yes, I can. So we'll turn that recipe on. And we'll slowly start working through our electronic parts. Getting motherboards, which will then go into this box. Come out this box. Go through around this daisy chain. And then come through on these belts. And go into these two boxes to make us some space science. What I could consider doing is uh, just hand feeding some materials in here to do some like chemistry science for example which i think i'm gonna do well actually it makes more sense to feed it one at a time and then we'll split this one Just because, might as well make use of all the uh, scientists that we've got. Uh, next time we're going to cover how to set up farming. Because we're going to want to utilize or get some food production set up relatively quickly. Or relatively soon. Because, uh, yeah, we need to feed this crew more than just hydrotonics. Right? I mean, I've got a fair amount in there, to be fair. And I've got more quartz. But uh, I want to give them better food than just hydrotonic i think if you're trying to feed a crew of astronauts they should be able to do more than just drink some hydrotonic you know what i'm saying in order to progress the reason why i say we're going to do it next time is because in order to progress we need to get agriculture unlocked and we need advanced smelting unlocked so let's see if we can get this we can get advanced mining cool so we can now go gather the aluminum off of the planetoid. Same with the gold. So that's actually really powerful for us. We're going to go do that. <clears throat> we might be able to get this. We can actually get advanced smelting. Awesome. We're going to get advanced smelting. We need two biology science and in order to get farming. So we got to wait for farming. But let's go see. Can we actually upgrade this? We can. Amazing. So if you hover over something that's upgradable and you push the U key, it will upgrade the thing. So like for the smelter, if you hover over a smelter and push the U key, it'll spend the materials and upgrade the building. Cool. We got those all done. Now we can make aluminum and glass, both of which are useful. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, that should be fine. I think I will make some glass as well. Take like a hundred of this. Dang, how is this backed up? We really need to get advanced belts. Really need to do that. <laughs> Is all of my glass going that way? Shoot. That is not good. Uh, that means... Come on. Yeah, that's what I want to do. We'll grab that out of there. 
because we don't actually want glass inside of there. We also don't want aluminum inside of there. So yeah, I needed to make that change in order for that to work. That's fine. Uh, well, actually, that can just chill in there because it's in a base warehouse we can use it to build. Okay, moving on. These will slowly generate science for us. Uh, we could go ahead and maybe get something else. We don't need titanium yet. We don't have titanium on any of the planetoids right now, so fine. Agriculture, we're still waiting on biology science. Do we not have... What are we missing for that? We should be making it. Come on, bro. I guess they don't want to go across. So yeah, we are going to have to relocate these to wherever they're going to be working. And that's fine, I suppose. There you guys go. Go sleep. You should be allowed to sleep. I was trying to localize it because I thought that's kind of how you would actually design a station. But that's fine. I'm also going to break this stuff because this is going to get moved. It's really not convenient having it there because our ship is so much, like the front of it is so much farther away. It's like too far away and a lot higher than that portion. So you can't see the how close you are to actually navigate. These are backed up because we dumped a bunch of ice in, so that's fine. These are also kind of backed up, but that's also fine. Not a big deal. They'll catch up, and if they don't, I can always break this portion, expand in another two smelters, move this box back this direction, and back this direction, reconnect the coal belt, right against this, reconnect this, right against the coal belt going into this one, as opposed to this face, and then we can use smelters going along, and then we just split these belts each, so as opposed to these going straight in, We'll run a split off of each of these feeder belts so that it feeds another two smelters. Uh, easy enough to do if we need to. I don't think we do. We'll be fine. But let's take a look at... So we do have a few motherboards. We need some aluminum in there. Uh, so aluminum actually needs to end up in this, this box. Interessant. Um... Actually, I suppose it can go right here. If I put aluminum on the split ratio, then half of the aluminum that we make at this point will be sent into the Labby Labs for science. I will just hand feed some so we can start getting some space science. Might as well, might as well. Uh, why are these... Are the dudes... I guess they're just drinking. They're hydrotonic. That's fine. I'm just surprised we haven't gotten a single biology science yet because we have like stacks of carbon fiber and oxygen tanks in there, but that's okay. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and get this portion set up. We're going to get the gold and copper mined out for this area, making use of this smelter. So what I'm going to do is I think we're going to want just a touch more room. I'm going to do that. And we're going to go into technology. We're going to go back a little bit. We are going to get robotics for the robot assembler. We'll talk about the transport bot later, um, but we need the trans the robots assembler in order to actually build these guys, the minor drones. But we're going to build two mines real quick, and it is under mining. Two mines. Each of these takes two of the little mining drones, but we're going to do two of them to start. We're going to set one to do gold, we're going to set one to do copper. We might expand this later. We'll play that by ear. I actually need to bring this one over a tile so I can fit power. That one's doing copper. This one can do gold. Awesome. Let's go four. That's fine. Bring it over. How much power do we need? We need another four. Easy enough. Okay, we need belts. Perfect. This needs all the recipes. Same with this one. Needs all the recipes. 
because this is going to be basically our planetoid processing and eventually we'll feed it in. Uh, we need to build a robot assembler which is going to be under devices and we could automate this. I'm not going to automate it because I don't think it's required um, at this point for us. We're not going to make that much use of it. Now the bots come out there. For these, since they're just uh, mining robots, it doesn't really matter if they come out uh, next to wires or whatever because they can fly. So they'll be able to navigate around this just fine. Um, we're going to turn on miners. And we need to get some hydrogen and some rods. So we'll just grab all this. There's a ton more in this, so I'm not too worried about hydrogen. And then I need some rods, which I think are in this one. Yep. We'll just take all of them. It doesn't really matter. We'll throw them back in a box later, or we can just put them in this one. As long as they're in a base warehouse, we can use them for stuff. Uh, that's basically how that works. So we need four... So we need 16, then we need 24. Go ahead and make those. We're going to break that eventually, so I don't care about the efficiency. I do, however, want to build a couple more mines over on this island as well. And I can't mine uranium yet, but I can... Um, mine aluminum right so i do need aluminum so i'm gonna get some aluminum that's the plan and might as well utilize the miners so this is gonna go out that's fine then i need this belt Awesome. That lined up perfectly. <laughs> uh, now the robots should actually be able to utilize the uh, the dock in order to get over there as they're built. We just need to queue up another four robots. And when I say robots, I mean specifically miners. Um, if you're looking for the in-game item, what I'm building are miners. That's what fills the mines. Makes sense. It's named like the building. But, yeah. Okay. That's set up now. We need to build another four of these. So we need 16. And 24. And so these bad mammas are going to mine gold into this one and copper into this one. So what they do is they go to the deposits on the planet. If we hit C to use our scanner, there's copper right here and there's gold right here. So they will mine out all of this, right? Once they're done mining all of that, we can break these and we can move them over here. Hopefully by then we have um, uranium unlocked so we can mine the uranium and we'll just throw down another two of these. I am just gonna bring this out over here and build the solar panels because I don't think this will be temporary, right? Once everything's mined out, we're not going to need power over here necessarily. Or we won't need this much power over here. I think they're four each. That's what I said. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So those will do their thing. See these guys right there? They're going over to this. And that's fine. Like, it'd make more sense to break this and build that over there and have it run, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I think I will go ahead and build the belt out of this box to go in over here. And I am going to build it out of this space, despite them kind of bringing in resources there. The reason why I'm going to do this is... Uh, it makes more sense for it to come this way, I feel like, as opposed to the uh, 
the other face because I might use this face for another set of smelters if I attach something on this side of the planetoid later is the idea. I wish when you dragged uh, ramps and stairs and stuff, it like dragged it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say it's out. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Just bring this up, and I'm just going to go up four tiles. That for sure will be tall enough for uh, the astronauts. And I think what we'll do is we will just store all this right here. Boom. And just like that, we have now connected up copper and gold to be harvested from this planetoid, Neurovim. And we also have set up to get aluminum mined from this planetoid of Ned Wuik. Ned Wuik? Four? Sure. Oh, I need to set these. Aluminum, please. And aluminum, please. Get me some aluminum. I need that to get more science. Thank you, good fellas. Now, I do need to figure out how to handle the aluminum. Or, well, I've already figured that out because it's split back here to go just straight into science as opposed to be processed. Um, I can't make aluminum plates yet. I think that is something you are able to make later on, uh, potentially. Yeah, right here, metallurgy. Um, we're not there yet, so that's fine. But cool, we got quite a bit done this episode. We got science started. Uh, we relocated all of our dining and habitation for our astronauts that are scientists so they can, you know, be happy and get their work done and get us some good science. I do just want to break this real quick because we do not need it any longer as the miners that we are going to utilize are already built and at their mining stations, right? So these are processing gold and copper. This will ultimately just process aluminum, but that's fine. Those guys will mine more than just aluminum. They also might get some dirt and quartz and stuff. And if they do, that will filter into the smelter as well and just kind of pass through the chain. As I understand it, if the machine receives an item that it can't process, it just spits it out the other side, um, is how that's handled. So should be fine. We'll check it out later. But guys, I think we're going to call it here for today. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And in the next one, I think what we're going to take a look at is uh, probably setting up farming so we can get some more food variety or food choices for our astronauts set up. We'll also maybe take a look at transport bots so we can move the food from the storage box to the canteen so, you know, the various stations where our astronauts are located uh, can get their food transported automatically so I don't have to take it to them. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. This has been Lone Debater 7. We will see ya.